Hello everyone, my name is Marc Hervieux, I'm IoT Marketing Manager in US, and we are at CES today. I'm here to present you the collaboration we have between ST and MachineQ with uh, a Comcast company, and it's an operator. Uh, we are doing a strong relationship and, and uh, partnership between uh, ST and MachineQ, and, and especially to address the market with uh, standard kits uh, and development kits. So development kits we have developed is basically this one. It's a LoRa board module uh, augmented with some sensor shield. We have sensors for accelerometer, gyro, magnometer, uh, temperature, humidity. And we are able to send those information to the uh, IoT uh, platform from MachineQ that is called MQ Central. So I'm going to show you here uh, what we do here. Uh, but first of all, before going on the, on the application, I'm going to present you the network. And we have basically a gateway from MachineQ here that is going to be sending, receiving the information from the dev kit, and that's going to be a packet forwarder and send, sending that to a server, application server and network server. So all of that is going to allow the information to transfer to the application and to be interpreted or at least to be manipulated. So this uh, application, MQ Central, is a device management tool. So you're able to see the health of your network, to see all your, net, your dev different devices, how they behave, and also to be able to see by device, if I go here on the devices, to be able to see the sanity of the device, uh, how the network reception is, and also to go up to the payload and to be able to see the payload, uh, to see each data transfer, and to see what's going on in detail, along with some timeline um, view of some sensors where we can see basically uh, the temperature evolution, humidity evolution, etc. in the time. So this is a very great tool that uh, is put in disposition by, uh, uh, by Machine Q, and that also allows to have another feature to transfer those data to the cloud. So we can talk here to AWS, Azure, or to other cloud vendors that will use MQTT or REST APIs. So it's pretty interesting. So now I'm going to want to, to just present you a few slides on that because there's some added value information that I want to go through. And especially that uh, we are obviously having a Murata module in which we have an STM32L0 where the code is going to run. And we have a sensor shield where we are going to put in place uh, some uh, different sensors that are going to be used for temperature, gyro, uh, humidity, pressure, etc. Uh, what is important is that the software used is the iCube LR1 from ST that we have modified a little bit to present a better user experience and typically we added a menu uh, to be able to manage the credential so you don't have to recompile it and you can take the binary, insert your credential and you can go directly on MQ Central to manage your device. And also we manage the, the sensors that were not managed on this uh, standard package. This software is available on MachineQ software, on MachineQ website and is going to be able to present the binary or the source code for the project. So if we look at uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the website of MachineQ, you will see MachineQ ST LoRa dev kit. This is the dev kit that's going to present all the, the information uh, for how to get uh, ordering the dev kit and getting access to the software. So you'll have all the information there. We are presenting uh, for uh, $199 a gateway for MachineQ, a dev kit, and three months of MQ Central, that is IoT uh, management device. And this is also going to um, have the interest that if you buy the gateway and you pay $30 monthly, you will be able to have as many devices and as many uh, uh, data traffic as, uh, as you want. So it's unlimited on both of them, right? So this is pretty, pretty important. Um, now what we have done is to expand this experience and to go beyond just a dev kit with some sensors going to the cloud. We have been starting to um, put use case of um, IoT use case and especially LoRa tracker. And when we say tracker, this is a Genesis tracker with localization. So for that, uh, basically uh, to, uh, what we have added to this dev kit is to expand that with a Genesis shield that is using the, the Tezio Lift 3 module from ST. 
and that allows to have the positioning. So we have the antenna here, and we call it the modular version. Uh, so this is going to be uh, what we have here, and we have a special interface that we have created with MachineQ to present uh, the data back to the cloud, and it's called MQ Portal. So this uh, solution is presenting uh, um, two, two aspects, two tabs. The first one is presenting each asset, and when you click on it, you're able to localize where it is, and you're able to see the temperature, the humidity, you're able to see the altitude, and also an interesting feature, uh, from the positioning, you can get the address of the, of the asset. So typically, the use case is that you have an industrial truck that is going to deliver, uh, let's say, food in a store uh, from different stores, and the store chain wants to have a very a very cheap solution for managing their assets uh, in the network, and LoRa is meeting that expectation. So the other solution that we have as well that we present is the uh, discovery of the pass. Um, we know that uh, LoRa is more localized network, and it's not necessarily a nationwide network, um, and you don't have necessarily gateway everywhere in your in your facilities. But what you want is to be able that uh, when you have access to the network, to be able to send the data. That being said, uh, we are able to with this tracker to discover the path everywhere we are, even off network, and record the position, the sensors, uh, and all the information uh, necessary to be able to rediscover the the exact path of the uh, of the truck. Let's say in that in that case, and we can show here different traces that have been done that are completely off network, um, and we are able to rebuild that. So the, again, the use case is for um, uh, a company or a chain food company uh, to have those trucks and making sure they have been doing uh, deliveries at the right spot and being, being sure everything has happened at the right time and getting notification in that case in the system. So this is a typical use case. What we have done as well as a, uh, an expansion to that, as a next step, is to go to the work on the form factor, because obviously this is not necessarily a form factor that people want to have in their truck all the time, and we have proposed a reference design. And so this reference design is basically a very small form factor, it's called STEVAL, STRKT, Zero one, um, and this is the same bomb that what you find here, meaning that you have a Murata module with an STM32 L0. You have also the Live Free Tesio uh, module and its antenna, and this is uh, battery manage managed. So you have a battery management and USB-C powered um, for recharging, obviously. We are creating this uh, uh, packaging that is pretty small uh, with a nice casing that it can go everywhere and a battery that at least uh, can last for enough to discover for many hours. This is sold on ST.com and this is, um, uh, so you just have to, to find STEVAL, STTRK01 uh, and search for that and you will find this uh, nice package and being able to order it. Just a few words on that in more detail. Uh, it's a very small form factor. We're talking about uh, an object that is two inches by an inch and a half, and that presents a lot of ST products. Um, again, uh, uh, a lot of sensors, uh, temperature, humidity, accelerometer, uh, and also the um, USB-C management, power management, etc. The software side, pretty important. So we have created the software that is called FP80 Lower One. Again, you can find that on DST.com uh, website, and you will be able to get all the features to, to discover the, uh, uh, the, uh, the pain on the map and being able to uh, get uh, uh, all the features that I showed you. Thank you very much.